We're gonna see if we see movement. And there is movement. Look, it's a foot. Last week, we candled our chicken eggs that were incubating on day seven. It's always a miracle to see the first signs of life. It looks like it is a fertilized egg. Let's see if it's moving. Yes, it's moving. So it is alive. Little miracle chicken. First egg, it is fertilized. So amazing that a chicken can come out of this egg to me. So this is egg number two. Okay, this egg is not a herald. We have another live baby. Number three, we're gonna see if it's fertile. Doesn't look like it is. There's no little dot. You can't see anything swimming around. We'll have to remove it from the incubator. Let's see, I guess Harold didn't fertilize his eggs. There's no dot, no anything. It's just an egg yolk in there. Oh, we got a fertilized one. And looks like they're fertile. There is definitely a baby chicken in there. And this one is not fertilized. There's no black speck. So we'll remove it from the incubator. See veins? And there's a baby. That is just so amazing. Look at that. That one's behind the X. I don't know if you can see it real good. This is Harold. And at the time we decided to incubate our eggs, Harold was with this group of hens for only four days. We took some of the eggs from Harold's flock of hens and put them in the incubator to see if they were fertilized. Last week, we removed two of Harold's eggs that we know were not fertilized. Now, when I put those eggs in the incubator, I thought that we only had three eggs from Harold, but it turns out there were four. So now we have two shots. Let's see if Harold will be a daddy. Okay, so we're ready to candle our eggs. We're gonna open this and take out our first one we see. Okay, so we see veins. So we can see that it's moving. So we know it's alive. Okay, so this egg is definitely alive and it is moving. So we're gonna put it back and check the next one. So that's one. There is a black spot there. There's veins. Is it moving? It is moving and Harold is going to be a daddy as of today. So, Harold will have one baby. Okay, so we're gonna put Harold's egg back. And as of day 14, Harold will be a daddy. So, we'll just have to see. Have to pray he, he develops, or she. See all those veins in there. So, big veins. they are big veins. That's so amazing. Look at that. It's moving. So, we know we have three chickens so far. Okay, number four. This one doesn't look quite right. There's veins. Is it moving? Okay, it's moving. 
Well, this egg is a smaller egg, so I think it's taking up all the room in there. It makes it look bigger. This one don't have good veins like the other ones do. It's they're not quite as prevalent as they are in the other eggs. I'm not sure why. Um, it is moving, so we're not going to take it out. Kelly, look, you can see the foot. So this egg looks like it has not developed. I think it just quit. So, didn't make it. So, we'll just have to take this egg out. We don't want to leave it in there. Remember, if you leave bad eggs, if you leave bad eggs in the incubator, they could bust and they'll contaminate the other eggs, and we do not that so you have to take the bad eggs out so this one they call these a quitter just there's no no veins it's far different from the other eggs so there's veins We're going to see if we see movement. And there is movement. Look, it's a foot. Okay, keep pointing. Look at his foot. That's his foot right there. See it moving? I'm going to put them. I'm going to move those. Okay, we got movement. Look, there's a foot again. Look at that. It's a foot. But it's it's neat. Got a foot. Look. Look at it. It's both its little feet, I think. Look. I, I think I have one more. Okay, we're looking for movement. And it's moving. I wanted to point out the difference between this handheld candler and the candler that is built into the incubator. The one on this incubator is not quite as good as this handheld one. And I'm going to show you the difference. 
I'll leave a link to this candler in the description below. It looks like a lot of light is coming from here and it's just hard to see the egg on the incubator candler. Now it will work. You can see the veins. If that's all you've got, you'll be able to tell if you have a baby chicken in there. You know, on day seven when you're candling it, you'll be able to see the dot on there. But it's just not as clear as the handheld one. So I prefer to use the handheld one. Next week, we'll be posting a video of the baby chicks hatching. Thanks for watching.